Hey everybody, welcome to 3 Praying Anything. Today we're going to take a look at what I've been planning on building. It's a big project. I've already got two printers. I think I needed something that could print a little bit larger. So I took the designs from Thingiverse for the D-Bot Core XY printer. And I've ordered all the parts they're in. And today we're going to take a look at them. First, we have the threaded rods. We have two of them because of the size of the printer. Next, we have some connectors for wiring. We also have two Bowden extruders a small fan, anti-backlash connectors for the platform, two heaters for our hot end, a auto leveling sensor, one end stop, two, three, four, five, six, all optical, LED light strip, can't quite remember what for, thermal grease, springs, one, two, three, four, five, six spools of wire, rubber feet, T-nuts, LCD screen. Bearings, belts and more bearings, one nozzle, two, three, one, two, three, bowden tubes, anti-wobble couplers, a relay for the heat bed, one, two, three, four, five drivers, the biggest heat sink for the relay, one, two, three, our dual extrusion hot end, one, two, three fans, power plug, our G-Tech control board, screws, spacers, bearings, nuts, washers, wheels, wiring loom, power supply, motors, more screws, washers, tap and die set, super glue, heat shrink, zip ties, hex wrenches, epoxy putty, blades, wrench, and a metric tape maker. Cork board for insulation, a heated build platform, All right, well that was a lot of parts and this is the last one. These are the main frame for the new 3D printer. It's about, I think it's five feet long of aluminum extrusions and there's multiple of them. And they're the first part I'm gonna get working on to make the main frame in the next week or so. So until the next video, I'll be working on this, getting the frame together, getting some video footage for y'all. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. So until next time, keep on printing.